We start tonight at the border shutdown, and the clock is ticking in Texas. The Lone Star State has until midnight to stop blocking federal Border Patrol agents from accessing part of the southern border. Otherwise, the Biden administration says it is sending the matter to the Department of Justice. While this situation may seem like a political standoff between the White House and a deep red state, it is much more than that. A woman and two children drowned in the Rio Grande River Friday night while trying to enter the U.S. in this exact location. The feds at first blamed Texas. Texas says it's not on them. Regardless, the stakes are life and death. And correspondent Allie Bradley joins me now live. Allie, we're just six hours away from that deadline, and you have exclusive video that shows just how heated this situation is. Yeah, hey, Elizabeth. So we actually just got a response as well to that DHS uh, cease and desist letter that they filed here. Attorney General Ken Paxton saying that the federal government has many false claims that they've made in this situation. Ken Paxton even saying at one point that the federal government, it's their job to secure the border and strictly ask them, when are you going to start? Texas military using riot shields to keep migrants from illegally entering the U.S. This is a scene that News Nation captured at Shelby Park in Eagle Pass, Texas. Texas authorities have had full control of the area, a major migrant crossing hub, for several days now, after Governor Abbott seized the park last week. Barricades have been set up around the park and Border Patrol are not allowed in. Texas National Guard seen here deploying a command post. The governor's actions now creating a standoff with federal authorities. The Department of Homeland Security is calling for Texas to, quote, cease and desist. In a letter to the state's attorney general, DHS threatening legal action, demanding the state take down all barriers and stop blocking Border Patrol from accessing Shelby Park by the end of the day. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton responding, saying, quote, Texas has lawyers, too, and I will continue to stand up for this state's constitutional powers of self-defense. The White House calling Texas Governor Greg Abbott's actions extreme. Blocking Border Patrol from accessing the border, that's a problem. When he's, when he's, at, when he's blocking them and putting Texas officials, then he's taking away the duties of what the Border Patrol is supposed to do. He continues to prove that he's not interested. He's not really interested in solutions, only seeking to politicize the border. I believe Governor Abbott is within his authority to protect the people of Texas. Uh, he has that charge in the Texas Constitution uh, and the U.S. Constitution. Governor Abbott says he is doing what the federal government is failing to do when it comes to securing the border. This comes after a woman and two children drowned last week in Eagle Pass. Federal authorities blamed Texas, saying agents were not allowed to respond to the scene due to the state seizing control of the park. But further investigation revealed that Border Patrol was not informed about the incident until after it happened. The Border Patrol Union now blasting the federal response as propaganda. Now, this all comes as GOP congressional lawmakers are putting pressure on President Biden, trying to hold out for that border security funding versus giving that Ukraine funding over. So that's one of the sticking points right now, Elizabeth. Another big thing we're watching is tomorrow, the Homeland Security Committee is going to have their second impeachment proceeding for DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Now, despite multiple attempts to get him to show up in person, I'm told from Chairman Green there, Elizabeth, that he will not be showing up. They have extended him uh, an opportunity to submit testimony verbally or via a written testimony there, Elizabeth. All right, lots of drama. Hopefully Congress, for the first time in decades, will actually pass an immigration reform package. Uh, definitely needed down there on the border. Thanks, Allie. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.